Hi everyone, about a minute on the stupidity of green hydrogen, and it is just all day stupid. Now, let me be clear, I have seen a lot of proposed energy projects in my career. I've been, uh, if you don't know me, my name, by the way, is Robert Bryce. I've been writing about, speaking about energy and power for more than 30 years. I give you the numbers and the facts, not the spin about energy and power. Okay, so what is so stupid about green hydrogen? Well. I saw it firsthand, and I wrote about this on my Substack uh, in this latest piece called Invasion of the Water Snatchers. A couple of weeks ago, I went out to Schleicher County, Texas, which is, oh, it's about halfway between Fort Stockton and San Angelo out toward West Texas. It's a dry area, but there's a company called ET Fuels based in Ireland, backed with money from France and Switzerland, that is trying to build a green hydrogen project uh, that will then produce 100,000 tons of methanol. Well, okay, so why is it so stupid? Well, first, it's the staggering amount of land that this project aims to cover, 30,000 acres, that's 47 square miles. They plan to build 300 megawatts of solar and 300 megawatts of wind capacity, an unknown amount of battery storage to produce hydrogen, and then they're gonna have to use massive amounts of groundwater. How much groundwater? By my calculations, roughly 10 gallons of water fresh water, groundwater from the region to produce one gallon of oil equivalent. So, I mean, these are these are crazy numbers, but if you do the, the total energy output from this entire project, which is gonna cost something like $800 million, the overall energy output will be about 980 barrels of oil equivalent per day in Texas, covering 47 square miles, using massive amounts of groundwater. It, it, to put that, 100, you know, well, that 980 barrels into perspective, an average new oil well in the Permian Basin today is producing 1,300 barrels from a single well. And, and in the Permian, they're drilling multiple wells on a single pad. So multiple wells on a multi-acre pad. The power density is enormously high. Here with this green hydrogen project, it's pitifully low. And of course, because you're gonna, the power density is very low, you're gonna have to build a lot of roads, you're gonna have to build a lot of wind turbine solar panels, lots of concrete, steel, copper, et cetera. Makes no sense whatsoever. It is the stupidest, by far, the stupidest energy proposal I have seen in my 30 years of doing this. So take a look at the piece I wrote. It's called Invasion of the Water Snatchers on my Substack, robertbrice.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.